What is up, fellow gamers? This is your boy Wolf, Cincinnati's finest, and I'm here with Jasmine to tell you about Game of the Month. Game of the Month is ready. NBA Jam TE came out in '94, '95, around that time. By Midway, it's a sequel to the smash hit NBA Jam. Just note that this was about the third or fourth like arcade basketball game that Midway had did. First one was Arch Rivals around 89, I believe. Then they had Super Brawl, something like that. And then NBA Jam. They struck gold with NBA Jam in the arcades around 91, 92. It sold over $1 billion worth of quarters in all the arcades at that time. So of course, why not have a sequel? NBA Jam TE was it. It was one of the first games to actually have, yeah, it was, actually have licensed gamers, um, players that look just like themselves. Um, it was also known for its many infamous Easter eggs, such as being able to play as Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Al Gore, the Phoenix Suns, Gorilla, the Charlotte Hornets, Hornet. Uh, you can actually put in Juice Mode, Turbo Mode, Power Dunks, Be On Fire from the get-go. So, landmark game. Me and my brother actually first fell in love with NBA Jam when we used to spend uh, weekends during the summer. Okay, she's gonna stop. Um, over my cousin's house, and I was about 11, 12. My cousins were about 15, 16, 17 at that time. And we used to spend summer nights over there, you know, during the weekends, during the summer. Play NBA Jam, fell in love with that game. Play it on Super Nintendo, would never get like no sleep. I would stay up like 24 hours playing out me and my cousins. We go play with the Chicago Bulls. Also, the rosters back then were like, Cool. You had Christian Leitner, Latrell Sprewell, you had BJ Armstrong, Horace Grant, you had so many <laughs> Hall of Famers back then, so, or it's just good running down memory lane, but yeah, the only reason this is the game of the month is because to know the present, you gotta know the past. Um, you can say that, in a way, games like NBA Jam TE set up games for like this, or live, or other basketball games. Also, there have been several spinoffs that you probably know or you might have forgotten unless you're really young about the games. Um, it wound up spinning off College Hoops, which was kind of considered a failure in um, gamer standards because, you know, no one wanted to play with college people. Everyone wanted to play with the pros and stuff. Also, NBA Hang Time came out later um, consoles. That game sucked ass. That game was horrible. It didn't even have NBA in it. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, you could also say that it set the way for, like, NBA streets and stuff. So, yeah, game was on point. NBA Jam TE is this game of the month. Um, sorry, I do not have video footage of me in the store. It um, acted stupid and it wouldn't convert well, so I just had to delete it out of my camcorder and do this one now. So, hopefully next game I will actually have, like, a physical disc or something like that. But, um, yeah. That's really about it. Till next video, peace. Run down memory lane. Play a retro game today. All right. Holla at your boy. Okay, y'all. I did a Brad St. Louis. And if you caught it, I don't give a care. Guess what? I got one thing to say. Tell them truth. Bitch. <laughs>